What's up everybody, Maddie back with another tutorial video. This is one I've gotten a lot of requests for. A lot of people have seen me use the redneck vehicles that I've bought, which are made for 5M, and that meaning, uh, meaning they're not ELS, uh, but there's some really cool high quality models. So I'm gonna show you how you can add those to your game. Now you have to acquire the uh, files themselves directly from him uh, via his, uh, his website, which I'll, I will pull that up right now, which is redneckmods.com. So you can come here and find all of his cool stuff. Uh, today we are going to do the Challenger. So we will actually look at it real quick. We can just go to the shop. You can find uh, down here, it's gonna be under Dodge. And then this is the vehicle right here that we are going to be adding to our game. So you've seen me use it before, uh, but there's a few files we need to get. So uh, first off, here's what we are going to do. We are going to go back to our browser. You need to get two files. You need to get Lenny's Mod Loader. And then you also need to get the Make Non-ELS Vehicles ELS 1.10 is the version. Both of these will be linked in the description below. This is by Andrew G1520. Uh, this is by LMS. Shout out to both of those guys for their amazing work. So anyway, what we're going to do is add our vehicles. It's uh, confusing for some people because you actually do not do the traditional through OpenIV on this. Uh, that's the whole point of getting the Lenny's Mod Loader. So we're going to go ahead and pull up our downloads. I've already downloaded the the files that we need. I've got everything installed and I've tested it, so I'm not going to redo it, uh, but I'll walk you through step by step anyway. So first off, uh, the Lenny's Mod Loader. What you would do is go to your root folder of GTA itself. That's where you actually have the Rage plugin hook there. Uh, you are going to take Mod Manager. You can drag that there. It really doesn't matter where that is. Uh, the Mod Loader is what is important though. You just want to copy all of these files you can leave this one out and place those in here. So I've already done that. So we are good to go with that. What you would then do is go into the LML folder. This is much nicer for adding any vehicles. You don't have to go into OpenIV anymore. You can do everything right here. So as you see, it shows mods go here. So you're gonna have a mods right here. That just is part of the files, leave it alone. Leave the mods go here alone. You would create a new folder. You want to name this whatever the model name is of the car itself. And I mean in the actual files. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. Anyway, so what we would do is do new folder. You know what? While we're here, we'll just go ahead and do it. We'll add a new car. We're going to add the Camaro that we also have from Redneck that I purchased from him. So I'm going to go into Camaro. If you look here, actually in Challenger, this is how you set it up. A data folder a stream folder and then it has this install file that actually is uh, he's got an example car that the Lenny mod loader that LMS created uh, to for this so you can download that if you want it but uh, and actually you know what I am gonna link that as well because you will need that because uh, it gives you these base files that you need but you need a data file and a stream file which for any 5m server devs out there you know what that is these go in for every car but you also need this install and as you see it's got uh, specifics here you would edit the name here it comes with some sort of default anyway so what we're going to do is just go ahead and copy all three of these go into Camaro paste those now stream is where you put the actual car files so we need to open up our redneck special folder and that's where I've got the uh, just the individual cars that I purchased from him we're going to go into Camaro RB because that is for red and blue uh, let's go ahead and open up the file so we can get everything we need. Just use WinRAR, of course. Skipped over that, but y'all all understand where we are on that. So we're just going to go ahead and get both of those, drag them over. We don't need this Challenger 18 stuff in there. Again, we just did a copy of those files to give us the structure that we need. So anyway, we've got the two Camaro. There's actually an additional Camaro sign that we need. I probably have that under the civilian version, and I sure do. It's the YTD. So you need the YFTs and the YTD. You're going to have three. You might have four, because if you notice, there's two YFTs and one YTD. Sometimes, uh, depending on how the developer made the car, you will also have a Camaro underscore high dot ytd in this case so we've just got the three so what we also need to do is put in all of the car calls the metas if you're familiar with open iv when you set up the vehicles so we need to get those in here but specific to that camaro that we have so any developer that you buy a car for, uh, that you buy a car from he is going to give you the ytds and uh, the ytfs like we just saw and he's also going to give you for instance the car variations the car calls and the vehicles files. 
these are what tell the game to look for and how to treat it. So in this particular case, it knows that the model name is Camaro. It's gonna do the handling ID based off the Rapid GT, which is an in-car game, so forth. So that's how the game actually knows to go back through the code and know what this vehicle is and what it needs to look like and what files it needs to point to. So we copied those. We're just gonna paste them right over here. We're just gonna replace those. Again, I'm not gonna do that yet because again, this is actually for the Challenger that we did in the other one. So that's why we copied these. They are made for the Camaro. Replace those files. And now we've got our Camaro in here. So we've got the actual file structure there. We've got the data, we got the stream. We do need to make the install, okay? So again, that car is just named Camaro, simple enough. So you keep it right with all the special brackets. Everything's got to be in this exact place. You can't delete one of those characters. But right there, Camara. We need Camaro. Ooh, almost made a mess up right off the get-go. So let's go ahead and hit Control S to save that. So now we've got the file structure here for what we need. And again, if you go into the data, we've got our car calls, which that's what actually handles the lights. You got your car variations, which handles the different extras you can add to the vehicle. And then the vehicles, which tells the game which one to spawn in once you actually do so through a trainer. So uh, the big thing is here is we named all of these files, uh, excuse me, we named this folder of what the model name is. And when I mean model name, it's when you come back into that data and look at vehicles, model name, that first one. So it's Camaro. You just need to make sure that those two match. That also comes into play because the second file we needed to download, the make non ELS vehicles. Okay, so we've got that here. Uh, that is what's going to allow you to use as ELS. As it is right now, you could actually just press in on the left analog stick if you're a controller player, and that'll make the lights and sirens turn on, but they're together. You don't have control over the lights, but it would work. Uh, however, we like to use the ELS, don't we? So that's why we use that extra file. So let's go back into our downloads here where we have that make non ELS. As this one, as you can see, it comes with two. You've got non-slick top and you've got slick top. This one is going to be a slick top vehicle. There is, you can actually put a light bar on it. I just prefer it slick top. So there are two files. Again, just depending on what the car is supposed to be, pick the associating one that you need. This one we're going to do slick top. So we're going to go back to our GTA root folder. Again, where you would actually have your Rage plugin hook. We're going to go into our ELS. If you don't know how to install ELS, there are plenty of videos out there. If you need me to help you with that, just uh, reach out in the comments. Uh, we have already actually drug in the file, so it's rename me. That's obviously because it needs to match up to the car itself. Uh, this one is Slick Trop True, so that's telling me that is the one I used, which is correct. I just already copied it here earlier. I like to leave a copy here. That way I can actually uh, come back in and just grab it every time I need it, copy it, go into the pack default, which is where you actually put your ELS files, and then I'll just paste it. However, that needs to match that same model name we were looking at. So we're gonna hit F2 to rename and type in Camaro, because remember, that's our model name. So now what we've just done is we have put all of the files in this one nice, neat, tidy package of LML, but it also allows us to use our custom uh, light uh, files such as the car calls, our own car variations, because you can update and change the vehicles.meta when you are in OpenIV, but you cannot update and edit car calls and car variations without some serious trickery that quite honestly I don't know how to do. So this is what's cool, it lets you do all that right here. So now that we've done that, we're actually ready to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and launch the game and we will actually pop both of those in so we can take a look at them. So we will see you here in a second. All right, welcome back everyone. So we have now added the cars as we went through before. Uh, oh, neat, I'm Franklin. I've just loaded in uh, LSPFR. I'm Franklin because I haven't set up my character. I like to do an entire reinstall uh, of GTA in LSPDFR from time to time to keep things fresh and clean because I add a lot of stuff to it. Anyway, so let's go ahead and open up our trainer. I just use Trainer V. I will also link that below in the description again as, long, as well as all the other files you need. So we're going to go down to Vehicle Spawning in the Trainer V. We'll just go up to Added Vehicles menu. We should have two, and we do. We've got our Camaro. And we've also got us a Challenger. Let's go ahead and move up just a tinge. I'm just going to spawn in the Challenger while we're at it. So there it is. Okay. All right. Settle down, everybody. It's all right. Got to love AI. So again, since we set those up with the ELS, if I hit on my left D-pad three times, 
Looky there, we have lights, and it works. Now, it's not going to work in the stages like the regular ELS. Uh, to do that, again, the car developer has to do things. Uh, so that's how the car is built. These are not made for LSPDFR or single player. They are made for 5M. But the detail on these is stunning. But there you see it. We now have both of these working. Uh, we can even look inside the car. Again, this is why there's just a ton of detail in these things. This is why it's cool to use vehicles like this. So we have now gone through the process of adding a non-ELS non really LSPDFR car but ones that are very very high quality right into our game now of course you can change the skin on these I've actually got versions of these that have uh, LA County and LA Sheriff uh, LA County Sheriff and LAPD stuff like that that we use for our 5M community but anyway that's how you do it if you did enjoy it please uh, consider leaving a like a subscribe and a notify and y'all have a wonderful rest of your day bye